the Son of God. So now, you don't believe in one God as in one, one person. You believe in one God in multiple persons. Jesus... Is that right? Well, there is only one God. Okay. How many persons within that one God? See, He reveals Himself when, like Jesus said, I come out of the Father. As a human being, He's coming to the earth. We call Him the Son. Jesus said, He's the Son. Coming out of God so of this God. son, this son who's in the human form, is only human and not divine. Is that what you he, say? He is divine human. He is God become man. So, so he was divine. The son was divine. The son. <laughs> Before he took the human form, was the son Jesus, also divine? Yeah, the son was in the form of God always. So the form of God. What do you mean in the form? Of God? It means essence of God taking a form. If either, God can do anything. God, either, can, God can take any form God wants Either to. the Son was already God or He wasn't God before He took the human form. No, no. He was... Jesus is the man God. Jesus the, God become man. Before He became man, yeah. Jesus before He, he was He was always man. in the form of God. So He was God before He became man. He was man. God right. in the form of God. Good. Yes. So I follow that. Yes. So Jesus... Yes. So, if we were to talk about God before the universe was created, before He took the human form, how many gods were we talking about? There's only one God. There's one God. Is that the Son, the one God? Again, saying the same thing. There is one God. Yeah. He can take up any form God wants Before master. any form was taken. So, consider this. At one point, you and I agree this world was not created. Yeah? Do you agree? Yeah, yeah. So we are talking about God before the creation of this universe. Before the creation of our world. Yeah. At that point, when you say God is one, is that the Son? God has always existed in any form he wants to. But out of, when we say Son, we say Son proceeds from the Father, God out of God. Holy Spirit proceeds out of the Father. Holy Spirit is God. So it is God proceeding out of God. Not three gods. These are just the manifestations, how God manifests. Just one God. Before this universe was ever created, you said there was one God. Yeah, you say that. No, see that your question is not correct. My question is not correct for what reason? We don't use time language with God. If nothing was created, you can know nothing about God. Only God reveals. Unless God reveals, we can. So you can talk only to what God has revealed to us. If you ask me arbitrary question, then why is my question wrong again, Tarifa? Because. You are, you are saying that we can have knowledge without revelation. I didn't say anything at all. Yeah, when you said before... No, I am simply saying the, the universe at one point did not exist. That God existed. Then you can't ask anything about God because... Sorry, sorry, sorry. Are you saying God, whether he was one or two, before, the, before this universe was created? You can't talk like that about God. Can you let me finish this point? Before the universe was created, did God know whether he's one or two? You ask God, see you were again asking a question. Well, did he know whether he's one or two? Only God, see you were asking so, questions that properly belong to God. Fair enough. Okay? So did he know I whether he's one or two? See, you are committing a fallacy of a, it's a complex question. When I speak of God in Jesus Christ, I'm talking of the revelation, how God reveals himself. You are talking about pre-revelation. I don't know anything. We cannot know. Talk about pre-revelation. That's the fallacy the Muslims have always committed. Fallacy, and I think, in that. The fallacy, I think, you know is what? you're making of assumption. Look, I am saying... That's not a reason you we, believe that. We, we are not making assumption about what God is. Allah cannot be known, right? I don't know where you get it from. So let's oh, talk about you're talking about God, right? I don't know where you're getting this from that Allah cannot be known. So Allah is not God. Hang on. Oh, no, no, where no, no, no. did you get this from that Allah cannot be known? 
can uh, be gone. So you tell me. Well, where did you get this from? That's my, so far my understanding of it. My understanding is wrong. Yeah. So now you understand my position. So let me come back to the Allah position. cannot be known. Allah can be known. Can be known. How? Yeah. From the creation. Oh, well then, <laughs> are you knowing only the creation? How do you know creation is like Allah? Who says creation is like Allah? Allah is unlike the creation. So, how can you know from creation? Can this creation exist without Allah? That's a different question. If no, that's how we know. So that's how no, you can no, 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 no. You're still jumping from Excuse creation me. to Allah. Is this creation dependent on Allah or independent of Allah? You are throwing a red herring now. Let's talk. You seem to be... Sorry, sorry. So, uh, you're I'm using words like logical fallacies. No, referring, no, so, no you, I want to know exactly where my <laughs> logical fallacies are. So, Is this I'm creation not, dependent on a creator or independent of a creator? That's a different question. Answer that first. Why do you, you ask me what? I asked you a question and you're changing the topic. You I am saying, according to Islam, Allah cannot be known. Uh, you're wrong. So now let you me tell me you. how Allah can be known. I just told you. Even the creation, creation is not Allah. Even the creation, from observing it, we know that Allah exists. You can only say Allah exists, maybe. Maybe? Maybe. Yeah. But, but you can't know what he is like. Wait. Do you know what is the character of Allah? Can you start out a little bit? If you believe this creation is independent of a creator, I didn't say anything. Okay, yeah, like so let me now, let me now see sure. whether you're making any logical fallacies yourself. Can this creation be independent of a creator? What do you mean by that? Creation needs. What part of my question is not clear? This one, the precise. Create independent, dependent can mean two things. For me, creation exists by the power of God. If God says, Shh, go away. It'll be gone. That's the power of God. So it exists in God's power. Can that creation exists so, without so a creation? Brother, I need I to said go I, someplace soon. Oh, okay. Uh, All right. Sure. Good meeting you. Yeah, if you're around, come back here. No, no, I am mean, going home. Are you going? I'm going home. Uh, good, 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 very particular questions. Yeah, I know. I read it. So you need to make the wider point. Yeah. All right. Well, good to see you. Good to see you later. Yeah. Yeah. Bye bye. bye. Good to see you, Mansu. Can this creation exist without a creator? No. As to tautology, you said creator, and I asked me the question. Creator means he's the creator of everything. I mean, why do you ask that question? Okay. That is a silly question. I don't see that. So you know, is this, I, I go is this creation? Forget creation, this world, did it always exist? Did this world always exist? No, the world, it, it can't. God created the world, it has a kind of... Don't bring your logical fallacy of assumption. God created. Now we will see who's talking about logical fallacy. This world, my question to you is, did it always exist? It came into being. And in time, God created this. So you're saying this creation is dependent on God for you to bring it to existence. But that's what, that's what How creator you, means. I mean, why do you ask that? Did I say creator? I said this world. You then, I'm saying it. I'm saying, can this world, is this world eternally existent? No, only God right. eternally How do you know that without bringing God in? You yourself said it. You said it How can I even have a meaningful conversation with you? Because you see, you want to put me in a. I'm not putting you a, anywhere. A, I'm simply saying you asked me. You're trying to put me in a certain template of logic that you, you, that asked you me. have developed. No, and you, you want to force me into that. But that is why are you feeling so threatened by intellectual questioning? I'm enjoying myself. Do I look threatened? Right. My Good mouth then. Gets so right. Right. So now here, here is the question again. We talk about one God. Let's return to the subject. You said one God, didn't you? So, before this universe was created, obviously there was this one God. Isn't it? Why are you say, saying... Say something new. You're repeating yourself. Sorry. Are you saying there wasn't one God before the universe was created? You're repeating yourself. There is one God. Why, why are you so reluctant to admit it? Who said... Okay. I'm saying... Do you agree then? 
even before this world was created, came into existence, there was one God. <laughs> Be simple, simple. As you agree. Said, I don't know what are you. So yes, thank you. So is this one God the Son or the Father? See again, you are asking a question that is out of creation. See, that's what I'm saying. That is what you're assuming, as if you can know who God is in His absolute let me, transcendence. Let me tell you about you something. You can't know okay. anything about God Here, except when God sure, reveals sure. Himself. Do you know what one means? Do you understand okay, what I'm you know saying? what one means? One. In contrast to two, what does one mean? One means one. That's contrast tautology. Two, three, that's four. a logical fallacy, tautology. That's a clear example of tautology. What does one mean? One means one. Is our Sorry. creation one or there are many listen, creations? Listen, listen. I'm, I'm, I'm asking you. You are trying, to, you are trying to show me the yeah. ultimate no. logical fallacy. No, so no, I asked no. you, you, what are, does one no. mean in contrast to two? You said one means one. So you, you have to have a contrast. So you can't speak. If you say one God, then you're contrasting God with okay. something. What are you All contrasting right. with? Let me help you. Or let me help that's myself. A, that's when a, that's I what asked you, you call, okay. that's the tautology okay. you're talking about. Hurry. I don't Hurry. think you understand this point. When I say, what does one mean in contrast to two? It means one is not two, right? You one has into fingers, you can't talk about God like that. Okay. Am I talking about God or am I talking okay. about numbers only? Okay, let's talk about numbers then. Right. Number is one. Is the creation it, one or many? Wait, wait. When I say one and when I say two. So you're talking about something different, right? Um, you're not talking about God. I thought you understood what I'm saying. So no, I, say I one, don't know. Okay. Are you talking about Allah or are you talking about numbers? I'm talking about now the concept now. of one and two. Changing topics. <laughs> because you don't understand the so concept how, of... So you're going to explain that to numbers, right? Is that what you're saying? Yes. So how can you compare God with numbers? So, do you believe in five gods? You didn't say that. No, there are... I'm asking you the question. Do you believe in five one gods? one absolute transcendent God. Why are you using numbers? Because there is one. No, why are you using number? There's one is a number, else. isn't it? Because there is nobody Excuse else. Excuse me. Why are you using number? One. So you know what one means. But then why do you keep on pushing that one? Sorry, sorry. We both understand. But you, I'm not explaining right. God through numbers. Okay. So I'm not explaining God through numbers. Why do you use the word one? Do you know what it means? What it means? I'm asking. Because I don't know what that one is. Is it, uh, is it uh, diversity in unity? Or is it unity in diversity? I don't know so, that. Okay, when I say one and two, do you know the difference? Well, one can be a unity. See, that's what I'm saying. Good. If you go by right. what you're talking about... Now I got you there. That's what... When you say one... You got you, me. I think I got you there. You mean, when you say one, it could be one as a united... One. As a unity. Unity is also one. Fine, fine. So, the father, is he one I mean, or united? In your really, point, in a belief father, system. Father, when you say father, that is revelational. You're not talking about you can, absolutely trusting. You can't talk you about You can bring that. your revelation to help answer the question. All right, so now you're talking different now. Not different. And your question's change. No, my question is the I am asking you, look, look. You, you're trying I, I, to I don't be, think you're, 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 you're trying. I don't. That's clearly, why, clearly, I, isn't it? Yeah, that's But you why, do, right? But you bring it from But you do, you do, right? But you do? Do you? Well, this point. Excuse me. Do you understand philosophy and logic? Very good then. Try to learn something very good. Yeah. Very good. So, so my question to you no, is... No, I'm not finished yet. I'm here, here. In your belief system, when you say one God, the Father, is he one God or part of this one God? Where do you get the word Father? From your that scripture. That to Revelation. Yes. Bring Revelation in. So, but, but so say, in your so Revelation, when, you're asking questions, when your Revelation describes this one God... You're asking me questions the ontology of God, who God is, is himself or whatever, or self, or Can your scripture help? That you can't know. Can your scripture help? God, through revelation. Yes. God, out of God, God takes a form. The form of God. That's what I'm asking. Yeah, that's what I'm like. I am but, asking you, but then from, from your, your revelation, yeah. listen carefully, my friend. Oh, so from your revelation, no, your no. Questions. The question has almost been the same, which you're trying to avoid, but it's okay. No, you still not understood okay, what I'm saying. My friend, listen. Yeah. From your revelation, yeah. from your revelation, when you say your revelation speaks about one God, and there's a unity of this one God, and the Father is identified as the only true God, yeah. my question to you, using revelation, is the Father one God or part of this one God? You 
can divide God into parts? So what's the answer? What do you mean? There is one God. I'm talking about the Father. Is he yeah. part of this one God? Or parts? is he there the one no God? Parts. There are no parts of God. In the absolutely transcendent God, there are no parts. So is the Father partless? It's relational. Is the Father partless? Is the, when we talk of Father, we, there is less revelation. Is the Father... In the absolutely transcendent God, there is a... Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. I'm talking about only and the that Father. we know. Only the Father. You, you can't do that. Jesus you did. Can't, you can't know about Je Jesus because he's the Son of God. Right. So when so Jesus you, spoke about the I'm Father right, only, you you're saying Jesus, Jesus did. So you can. Do, oh, you can Jesus say, I'm, can you say I'm the Son of God? If Jesus says, That's crazy. Father, I can talk about the Father individually. Can I not? He did. No, you can't. So did the disciples. No, you, you can pray. Jesus. Sorry. When you distinguish the Father and talk about the Father, I can do the same as well. You're doing. Let's see how you distinguish. Good. So, so the Father, in your belief in God, oh, no, is he about my belief. You do it. In the Christian scripture, uh, so is the Father don't... part of one God or is he one God? God does not have parts. He's a unity, one God. I'm not talking about God. I'm talking about the Father. Is it difficult for you to understand? Is it revelationally? I'm saying from God revelation. Reveals inside okay. As Listen, Father, the, Son, and the Holy Spirit. problem that I find here, you're not I, listening to me carefully. You I am not talking to me, about. You don't understand what I'm saying. I am talking about yeah. some person called the Father. This Father, identified but by you Jesus, can't as separate. You can't know the Father without the Son. Excuse me. Jesus separated the Father when he said, "You are the only true God." Yeah. Did he do that? Yeah, Jesus can do that. Right. So, so according to that. Jesus, is the Father yeah. part of one true God or he is the true okay, God? You answered the wrong question. We are so difficult yeah. to answer. I, I am. And yeah. does you not understand? So what part of my yeah, question I mean, did you not understand? No, I understand your question. Your question is just to not address the situation. What? Why are you unhappy you are, to answer my question? You have, you have created I'm asking you because I know you are talking about okay. that. Simple question. Okay. 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 Can you answer me simple question? Revelation. Is there three persons in, in, in your God? God is Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. And Jesus is the incarnation of the Son. How many persons in your God? Real and So, yes. in your one God, how many persons? In God. In the one God that you believe in. The scripture says you believe in one God. That's what you say. How many persons are this in this one God? Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. How many? Father, Son, and the Spirit. Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Can you tell me numbers? How many persons? Tell me. See, unity and diversity. Excuse you me. Can't, you can't bifurcate them um, into numbers. Uh, excuse me. See, you, you is, know, is the see, Father yeah. the Son? You, are, you know what? Is the Father the Son? No. no the father is the so, Father is distinct. So, you have one distinct what? Being or a person? Okay, the Father. The father. Since the Father is not the Son, they are distinct from each other. They are distinct and yet one. Wait, wait. The Father. I and the Father are one. Is one with the Father. Is the Father the Son? No. Thank you. So they are distinct. And they are the one. They are one. Wait, wait. Let's talk about the distinction. Because they are distinct. You can't understand that distinction. Don't tell me what I don't understand or what I can't understand. You can't. You can just see you talking numbers. Excuse me. Is the father is the father a person? Yeah. How, how many, many person is he? How many times will I tell you? His father is a person. How many person is he? Is One, a, two, three son, million. How many? Son is a person. Excuse me. The Holy Spirit is a person. How many? Person? Yeah, you not understand. Thank you. So now we have it's three not, persons in one God. I said person. Okay. That's what I'm saying. One God. Did I say that? Revealing himself.
Pakistan has two persons. Did I not say that? So what did I say? Did you hear that? So, no, no, no. You believe in one God revealing his three persons. God, one God revealing himself in three persons. That's what I am saying. Two. But you're forgetting the one part. Did you not hear what I'm saying? No, you, you, Concentrate. I didn't hear you say that. I am saying you believe in one God revealing himself in three persons. Did that get that right? Good. So now, there are three persons in one God in your belief. Do you agree or disagree? You agree. The Father is, no, I'm going to ask, because I have my first question I'm going to ask again now, in light of this new... You're trying to, you're trying to satisfy Excuse me. No, I'm speaking to you. I'm speaking to you. I'm speaking to you. I'm speaking to you. So now, Yaqub, Father is not three persons, it's one person. No, that's revelation. Yes, according to your revelation. Right. Not according to Superman. According to... Excuse me. Listen, God listen, as Father, listen, our Father, Father. Listen, Jesus called God as Concentrate. Will you listen to me too? So we but, can but I haven't finished my argument. As I started initially, you, that you kept on. No. I said that. I started asking you one question, and it's taking me a half an hour for, to get through. So now we have Jesus identifies only true God. I, I, I need to get this here. Can you please let me have this? I want to keep it closed. I want to have it. I hope it is still working. Or maybe I ran out of charge. I might have run out of charge. Okay. So we have Jesus Christ yeah. in the New Testament. I have to. Well, but I hope you will serve. So, so, you can watch it. Several cameras are recorded. So, we have Jesus Christ in the New Testament identifying the only true God. Not a God or many gods. Only true God. Only true God means only true God. How many persons, according to Jesus, is the only true God? He said that to God the Father, right? He was talking to God. He I'm said, asking you a question. You don't try to trick me or trap me. So you know tricks and traps? Yeah, I know all of it. Well, of course. This is how they teach you. And I know how you guys teach you. No, it's not about trick and trap. Asking a simple question. Between the nature and person. Yeah, yeah, no. Okay, fine. So, answer my question. I can clearly see that. You're putting my question to him. What? No, no, but as you said, you can see it. Yes, yeah, I'm not focused to you. Yes. So, his question is, Father,
Jesus is not in, in excluding himself from that. I hope you put that on YouTube. Okay. Because yeah. nobody has answered that to you. Nobody has explained that to you. Okay, slow down. I don't know. I know nobody has explained that okay, to you. Okay, don't try to praise yourself too much. No, no, no. Here is, praising, I'm concerned. Here is what I've understood. Excuse me. Here's my, my understanding of it. I asked you, I asked you a question, which is, According to Jesus, I trained, you, you actually, I trained your answer. I gave you the answer. What was my question? About Drew God. What was Drew God. my question? You said about Drew God. That what was my question? Repeat it. <laughs> you said Jesus said that you are the only one true God. That was my question. Try to remember what was my question. So all the time you actually. So now you're changing another. Sorry, no, 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 no. Excuse me. Be fair. And be honest and be sincere. Be a man of integrity. I walk away when I defeat you in your integrity. Right? But you see me with some integrity. Right? Um, can, can I hear your point? Can I hear your point? Can I hear your point? He's made his point. I want to make my point, right? So I asked you a question, and obviously you were, you answered a totally different question that I did not even ask. Oh, well, let, me repeat, question? let me repeat again my question. According to yeah. Jesus Christ, how many person is the only true God? You he didn't answer he did not answer In his answer or statement, the answer is already embedded. He says, the Father, you are the only true God. That's why I asked you before. And he's contrasting can I, can I, I gave you an answer. Can I, can I finish? You said I didn't. Could I, you can I, not interrupt what I'm talking about? Right? You said I didn't answer. Excuse you. me. I that question. Could you be gentleman enough and yes. let me finish? Thank you. I asked you how many persons is the Father? Is it three persons or one person? You agreed the Father is one person. You agree? The Father is one person. So if the Father is the only true God, and the Father is one person, according to Christ, how many persons is the God? Jesus didn't say you are the only person who is God. He said you are the only true God in contrast to the pantheon of God. Do you not understand it? If I tell you... Uh, listen, I... Um, Jacob, stop dancing around. I am worried about my things, man. I have my, my, my Bible and all this. That's why I, I don't know how people no, are. Bring it up. Now, here. Sir. If I say you are the only true professor of mathematics, can there be any other professor of mathematics? Everybody has technicalities. But there will be a contrast to mathematicians. But if can there are, be any other professor of mathematics? Yeah, you, if you are the only true mathematics. You, if you are equal to me. So if I said you are the only one. Well, then they will have to define it well. Because if you're a mathematician, then you will have to say, including me, I am the... If I but don't if include myself and I say, you, you are the right. only true mathematician, yeah, can I talking, be a mathematician? He's talking to the father. Listen, I'm talking about mathematics. Yeah. If yeah. I say to you, you are the only true math ma professor of mathematics, right. can anyone else be professor of mathematics? Unless you have... Unless you are in every event that you are equal to me in mathematics. Excuse me. We really say, it's um, a humble way of saying um, we are the only. I, I'm, I'm sorry. Father in the Son is Listen, the only. Sir. If I mean, somebody well, makes. The, I, my question, I'm, I'm someone that's new, you want and I'm presuming I'm your target audience, right? Explain to me why the Trinity is. Uh, is, is true and can I ask you to say no no we, we didn't create see I'm not talking with the language of Trinity I'm talking from the language of the Bible okay Trinity is a concept developed in fourth century or something and Christians have and then they use it as a logical form they want so you don't believe in the Trinity is that correct no again okay, you use it the same language I talk in language okay, that you don't gives, believe there's a trinity, you believe yeah. there's something else, something external, right? Jesus is the Son of God. <laughs> According to your belief, here. Yeah. According to Jesus. Jesus called God his Father. So he's the Son of but God. But he also said, do not worship me, worship thy Father, no? Huh? When did he say? He said, do you, when, when people would pray to Jesus, he said, do not worship me, worship thy Father, no? Where did he say that? Yeah, we do worship God. We worship the Father. Did Jesus say there are many That's things for me to say unto you, but he, the Spirit of truth, shall come and bear all to you? Huh? Didn't yeah. Jesus say there are many things for me to say unto you, 
evil. He, the spirit of truth, shall come and reveal all. Yeah, he just, How about I finish the conversation with the yeah, gentleman? He blind, and you can just converse with him? No, no, no. I'm going to go. I just want to just, just briefly... No, no, no. Why do you even start a conversation when you have to go? It's not fair, is it? So now, so, I like the way. No, listen, I, I really, I when, when I, when I say you are, thank you, thank you, thank you, and I appreciate you too. When I say you are the only true professor of mathematics, can there be anyone else who is a professor of mathematics? The language excludes it. If you're not a mathematician, it may be false. And I'm not talking about mathematician. I'm talking about a professor. Statement. See, that's what I'm saying. You have, so you have to make a contrast. I mean, with I, I'm only speaking English. Sorry, you are you're contrasting I mean, English language. Mathematician. No, you're I'm saying you, you are a professor of mathematics. So the contrast is between me and mathematicians, right? So if you're not I'm a saying listen professor, to me, professor, listen to me. there are no other professors. You are the only one. That's what I mean. If you are, so the contrast is between me and other human beings. I am the only human being who knows who am a professor there or not. So when I make a so statement like that, it's a contrast. So when I make a statement like that, you are the only true professor of mathematics. Can there be anyone else? I know what you're trying to what you wanted to say is that Jesus said You are the only true God. Only one God and nobody else. That's what when he says only true God. Only true God. Can there be any other true God besides him? He's contrasting it with the pantheon of gods. Everyone, so, everything. No, no, no. So only the doesn't God. mean only. So it only means only. only. It means only. But Why it does it include him? Because he's not included in Maybe that. Maybe it includes you as well. He's not included. No, 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 no. Maybe it includes you too. Because he's not included in the pantheon. Maybe it includes Zeus and Apollo and Diana as well. Yeah. Tell me why. It, tell me why it excludes Apollo. Apollo. You know why Diana. Jesus is not included? Not even. Listen, Jesus called God his Father. He said, "I am the Son of God." He said, "The Father and I are one." One what? And he, I one. One what? It's the unity. The one what? One. Yeah, just one what? Whatever. He said it. You one ask what? him. You ask him. Are when you, you, when you come to, well, it could be a mystery. Because when it's I mystery, it's quite clear. He can't no, 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 no. Did he not clarify what he meant later? You can't know the sun without. Did the he clarify what he meant by this one mystery? You cannot know. You cannot know the sun. Did unless. you not hear his clarification later in the same gospel of John? Yeah. I told you. When Jesus said he was the only true God. He doesn't he's mean, not including himself. That doesn't mean no, he's going to go. So now we disagree. We disagree. Yeah. So now I understand from English language, according to your English language, that it doesn't mean only true God. Yeah, you not understand. It doesn't mean only true God. It was a contrast between God the Father. If this is your best form of reconciliation, no, I'm saying if this is your best form of reconciliation, you fail. I'm not reconciling. You just say Jesus said, "I am the truth." So he does not, he's not included, he's not excluded when it comes to what is true. Did he say he's the only truth? He said I'm the truth. Did he say he's the only truth? Well, if there Father, can be many is, the, truth. If father is the only truth, how can he be the truth? Where did the Father say he's the only truth? Where did the Father say he's the only truth? Only true God? No, no, no. Truth. So Jesus... You are conflating the term only true God with truth way of life. It's very difficult. You've learned to debate, but you didn't learn to debate properly. Jesus didn't say, I am the only true God, did he? I'm not repeating the same thing. I told you, it's a contrast between the Father and the pantheon of God. It's not the contrast between Jesus and the Father. Can God create another God like him? It is not the contrast between Jesus and the Father. Can God create another God like him in your belief? What? In your belief, can God create another God like him? What do you mean God creates God? So that's, that's, that's self, that's self Exactly. So now, you have one God, from that comes another God. He's not creating his God out of God. God can do that. Okay. So it comes out means what? So how many gods can you get from this one God? So how many gods can you get from this one God? It's up to God. Yeah. Millions, right? Mean, uh, I don't know, I'm saying Zillions. we know Father. Infinite number of you are, you, are, you are you trying to judge God. I'm not judging we God. Have, I'm judging I say, no, you're not judging That's God. Concept. My concept is from Revelation. In the Revelation, Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. So,
The Son proceeds from the Father, the Holy Spirit. But Jesus said that we believe. When did he proceed? At what point in time? From eternity or well, some point in time? God has always, Father has always been there. So, son has, so, so the son Father has always been with the Father. So, Father and Son has always been there, right? Is the Son dependent on the Father for proceeding? See, you're asking me questions that I don't know. But you do know. Yeah, the answers know. are he is All dependent you is, or he's not dependent. All I can tell you is. That you know the answer, Jesus, but you don't like I it. I don't know the answer. You do. What that, do you so I tell you why. See, you know why that's a wrong. It's a complex so question. So I tell you why you do. You know what, why that's a complex question. When you talk about God's nature from the scripture, God's nature. We're talking about God's nature. What's happening within God? No, from the scripture. Not from our mind, from the scripture. So, oh, if so, we so now you're changing your question. I have not That's changed. What I'm saying. I've already said, I'm saying you your bring question. your scripture always to the where you are concentrating. That's what I'm saying. Your question was a complex So you're not question. concentrating what I'm saying. I am. I'm bring your scripture to talk about your God. So if you have... I am saying your question is a complex question. So what? Well, your scripture should be able to no. answer his complex question. Thank you. Can you skip to answer your complex question? But, but, thank you. It is not the complex question as two components. You have to separate them. Do you have an answer to this complex question? Yeah, okay. Now, now I'll tell you what the complexity is. And I will explain to you how it is answered. I will answer it. Yeah, ask me the question. Okay. Dependent. God is... Dependent. Is the son dependent on the father for him to proceed from it? Son, in his essence, before he becomes Jesus Christ, He's not. Remember, He's not our, our question is before the creation of this world. The word dependent, I've not even shown it applies to God. I'm not even sure. So the Son is independent of the Father. See, say this language because God is three in one, one in two. He is a unity in diversity, in diversity in unity. You are happy to use unity, diversity, multiplicity, but when I talk about making sense, dependence and independence. Okay. Is God in totality independent? Get used to unity in diversity. Can I ask you this question? God in his entirety, in totality, his unity, in your belief, is independent? See, again, it's a complex. Independent from what? Anything. So there is no anything there. God alone exists. How can you ask that question? So you don't understand that answer. If there is nothing there, then he's totally independent. Do you not agree? But the word independent means something else then. It means not dependent on anything. Self-existent. It simply means self-existent. Independent means yeah. not dependent yeah. on yeah. anything. You're confusing words. You don't no, no, understand. No, 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 no. God is self-existent. Excuse me. What does the word independent mean in English language? That's for us, for creaturely. God, the word mean? independent does not apply to God. What does the word mean? It means we are independent is like, I am independent of you. No, what does it mean, independent? Will you tell me? I'm not, what I am is, I'm not... You are happy to tell me logical fallacies I'm committing, but you don't even know what independent means? All I'm saying is it's okay. not... Okay, what does dependent mean and what does independent mean? You, you lost the, your, your argument. Excuse me, Yako. You, you, you lost be your fair, argument. Be fair. What does independent uh, okay. mean and what does dependent mean? In the English language. Just to let you know, independent from the dictionary is free from outside control, no subject to another authority. This right. is applicable to creation. Right. Is God independent? I'm saying it's not applicable to God because God is self-existent. You, you, you don't use the word dependence and independence on God. You don't use that language. Is God That's almost blasphemous. Um, why did God say that? Because you're you bringing him in as a... Look, I know, I know the problem that you have with this theology using this word. Why did God say that in your scripture? You can't use independence. Blasphemy is that which makes God less. When you say, you answer in my question, if I say yes or no, it will lessen God in either way. You lessen your principle. No. Not mine, your principle. I'm saying... That's why you're not willing to use it. You're not So now I understood. A, a debater like yourself, you can learn and taught to debate when it no. goes against your Christian theology, that's say you can't use it the Bible. So if that's correct, then why did Jesus ask, ask the Father? 
you really need to open up your heart and mind to Jesus Christ. He is Jesus Christ. He will really make you worthy of worship. Yeah. Is he? Yeah. What makes him worthy of worship? Is he independent God? Jesus said, because any being <coughs> who replies, <coughs> worthy of worship. Jesus is God become man. One He's second. I'll, I'll tell you who's worthy of worship. This is not worthy of worship. This is not worthy of worship. We know that. Your bottle is not worthy of worship. You are not worthy of worship. So I'll tell you what. A being who is worthy of worship has to be absolute, independent, perfect. Free from any wants, effects, or imperfections. That is a being who is absolutely perfect. God is Jesus absolutely perfect? He is what he reveals is perfect in that. Is he absolute? So, is he absolutely independent? So, so what I'm saying is... Answer the question. Is Jesus absolutely independent? Otherwise, he disqualifies to be a being or an object. Again, a complex question. Oh, a complex question. When you say, say, when Jesus reveals himself to you as God, he is not. You do not think he is that. You can't use that again. I'm asking you again. Sir. Is he absolutely independent? Jesus, the man, not man. Forget man. Forget creation. You believe he is worthy of worship. Is he absolutely independent? You are talking about Jesus Christ. Jesus is really? God man. God man. He is, he is dependent upon the Father. And then he is not worthy of worship. Because that's a complex question. You no, it's not complex. It's easy. So you don't understand if, this. So you, if, you not, believe, if you believe someone who is dependent... I know the problem. The you problem will, you will is never you want to worship someone who is dependent on something else. Jesus is... Worthy of is Jesus worship. dependent for his own existence on Jesus, anyone else? Jesus is the Son. Okay. Become human. I'm going to ask you a very the complex son. question now. Very complex. <laughs> is Jesus dependent on anyone for his own existence? Or is he self existent? Jesus is. Yeah, as a human being, he's dependent. Not yeah. human being. Forget human being. But Jesus is here. What are you talking about? The Son of God. Gee, what? Was that just talk about Son of God? Yes. The okay. Son of God, is he dependent no. on anyone no. for his own existence? No. So he's independent. He's, he's out of the Father. So he's independent. The word doesn't apply to the Son of God. It word applies you know only. I don't speak to you in English. I know. No, no, right, because you don't it doesn't apply. You don't English understand. doesn't apply with you. English language doesn't no, no, apply. No, you don't understand the I, conceptual no, no. difference. I cannot speak to you in English. It doesn't apply to you. Mansur, you do not. It doesn't apply. Don't run away. You do not understand the conceptual difference. Listen. When you say Son of God, we are talking about what is God in Himself. When you say Jesus. We are talking about son become human. So human. That, Before that, he became human, then he is not dependent. The language does not apply to him. He is self-existent. So he doesn't need the father for him to exist. But so again, you say need. Yeah. These words are not applicable exactly. to God. So he doesn't need the father for him to exist. The son of God. No, the, see, we don't know what's going Either on. Either he needs him or he doesn't. Simple. You, you, you're trying to be God. Okay, look, listen. You think you know what is you, going you, on. You are a man of intelligence and yeah. logic and philosophy, as you said but earlier. You know what? Either the Son of God needs the Father or he doesn't. Yeah. That's the only two options. Which one is it? The word need is not applicable to God. I'm not talking about God, I'm talking about the Son. Son is God. So, he either needs the Father or he okay, doesn't. Okay, so using the same language, you're using the need language. Say it Suddenly, the language need doesn't apply. <laughs> the word independent doesn't apply. Do you know why? Shall I, shall I tell you why? Okay, we need, okay let me I tell you why. We're going okay, okay. across each other. Let me tell you why. Let you me don't tell you understand why. what I'm saying. No, no, I'll tell you why. Yeah, the reason why answer. you don't answer because you know no. If he needs the Father, then he cannot be God. If he doesn't need the Father, then there are two gods, independent gods. No, no, no. It's, it's a catch-22 situation. No, you don't... can't win. It's a lose-lose situation. No, 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 no. That's why you have been taught no, by away. your priests you're to away. avoid I'm this not, question no, by saying, sorry. we can't use this language. I am not, you're running away. I said the word need and independence, and the, they are not applicable to God. You didn't hear me. You hear me, think about what I'm saying. 
I did think about it. I've thought of it for more than 20 no, years, no, my no, friend. No, no, you never thought about it. Sun and you're not the first one that's sun to becoming this issue. Sun becoming human being. When you talk about Son, Jesus Christ, the human being, okay. then these questions are good. But when you talk Does he have of, a will? When you talk of this Does the Son have a will? Not the Jesus, yeah. the human. The person. Does the Son He's have a will? Person. Okay. Now we're changing topic. No, no, no. On the same question about one Son. God. Is the Son his will in agreement always, or can he disagree with the Father's will? They're one. No, they're not one. They have different God wills. Cannot, there cannot be... How many wills do they have? One can, will? It's, a, it's a unity. Does the son have a will? Yeah. Does the father have a will? Yeah. It's a person. A person means having will. Good. So can the son disagree with the father? No. Why not? Because they're one. You see, so, uh, you got my answers and <laughs> so the son so is not. You're trying to think. So basically, hang on. Yeah. Now we are getting somewhere. You're trying the son to, you're trying is to not think. able to disagree with the father's will. Not able. So again. So he's not sovereign. Again. See, he's not independent. God. He's not absolute. God is not able to not contradict God. himself. Not God. Listen, the son, son. son. But so we have, we so have a son. Running away. I'm saying, who is God? Father, Son, and I the Holy Ghost. I am now going to develop this for you. See how much you have been taught. The Son has a will, no, and think, he's unable to disagree with the Father. I think because you know they have the same nature. Is that why? No. I'm saying there is no disunity in God. Listen, listen. But you're saying, is oh, the that son, means, so can, can God become a human being? Tell me, can God? Oh, no, no, listen. You are talking God, about God. I am answering. I am answering. My answer is, I am answering. Answering. Oh, you respond. Okay. Can God become a human being? Yes, I am answering. Yes. So God, the creator, becomes the created. No, you never become the creator. Is a human being created or uncreated? Jesus was uncreated. Am, am I talking about Jesus? Did you cast me at Jesus? Or did you say God becomes oh, a human okay. being? Oh, okay. I thought you were talking about Jesus. Right. So but can the I'm creator become I'm, the that's creator? That's what I'm here for. I'm uh, talking okay. about now, listen, Jesus. Okay, now listen, listen. Can the infinite become finite? Can the all knowledge will become ignorant? That's what you're asking me. And you, you studied logic and philosophy. God can never cease to be God. Wait. You said earlier, you said earlier, you have understanding of logic and philosophy. So now tell me, what's wrong with this question? Can the infinite become finite? Are we talking about God or the infinite? Excuse me. Define infinite. You said what is infinite? You asked me a question. Can I'm God you a question, what become is? human? Human is creation, limited, dependent, finite. God is the creator. You're asking, can God become finite? You change it. I didn't find, change anything. I'm answering your question. He can. Are you asking me? He can really take the form of a finite human being. So the infinite can become finite and remain infinite. Very logical. Yeah, God can. Very logical. Why well, you not? Because you don't know what infinity is. What is infinity? Does infinity mean it's finite? You can derive. What's the difference between infinity and, and, and finite? Tell me. See now you changing. I'm not changing. I'm not changing. Explain. What's the difference between infinity and finite? God can create human beings, right? No, no. Just this concept. Okay. Infinity and finite. You are a man listening. taught. No, no, no. In you're logic and philosophy, keep on excuse me, okay. I am focusing on the ridiculousness of a belief in more than one God. So, infinite and things. finite, what's the difference between them? You're mixing up two things. Excuse okay. me, what's the difference between them? I'm, yeah, I'm explaining everything to you. No, just this, this. Come on, let me explain. Not just this, you won't understand that. No, can you explain to, the difference between finite and infinite? Are you going to step 10? You have to understand step first. Oh, no, it? Professor, can you I, tell me, I'm in simple terms, the difference you, between I'm finite and infinite? Take question. from step one to ten. Go ahead. God can make, create human beings. God can create. God cannot do anything which is logically self-contradictory. Which means creation is not a logical self-contradiction in God. So Jesus was a creation? That's what we've been telling all along. No, he yeah. can. Thank you that, for admitting that. See, you not let me explain. Now let me explain. explain. I just maybe it's not that. Explain. So you agree 
that when God creates a human being, it's not a logical self-contradiction in God. God can do anything that is not logically self-contradictory. Therefore, God can take the real form of that which is not self-contradictory. Like? Like becoming a man. Is that self-contradiction? How does that follow logically? When you say God takes a form, is he creating that form? Is God Jesus created? Is not created. No, I'm That's talking what about I'm saying. You're not understanding. I'm asking you simply. That he takes when the he form. takes when he takes the human form. Is that human form creation? No. Okay. So it's not human. Real human. Then. Well, he's really a human being because God well, can do that. The Bible says, what is the difference between the God has the power to take any form God wants? He has the power. So if, God, so if you believe if God takes the form of a tripod and this tripod, what would be the difference between this two? Are you talking about yes, God? No. We know that God, God became a human. Let's talk about Jesus Christ. Listen, I'm listen. You that. If God, in your belief, takes the form of a real tripod and this is another tripod, what would be the difference between this? You know, you're talking contrary to that. I didn't claim you. You having a straw man? I didn't say God became this or that. If he does, I said God became. No, if he takes the I form. said you attack that point. I said God became Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. God became Jesus Christ. When he took the form of a man, that man and you, for example, God, what's the difference? Between the form he had created, he is not. That's the difference. So the man that he became is a real human being. Real human being? No, I'm right here. Because God can do that. He's a human being. Okay. Anybody. Okay. So real human so, being. So when, when we talk about the son of God, before he became a form of a human, the son. Yeah? Does he have the power like absolute God? He is. He has all the powers that are God's power. Right. Can he destroy the Father if he so wanted? See, you again, again, asking you. Can is like saying, you're asking me a self contradiction. How is it self contradiction? Because you're asking me, can God commit suicide? That's nonsense. No, I didn't say. Listen carefully. I did not say, can the son. Listen carefully. I did not say, can the son destroy himself? That would be contradictory. Affirming the son is all powerful. I'm talking about another person who is not the son. Can the son annihilate the father from existence? No, Does he have the power? That will be suicide. Does he have the power? Son of God is God. He cannot commit suicide. Not him. That's not Don't you get it? I am not talking about the son committing suicide. You ask your question because I am not asking you whether the son is. Don't listen to me. The background noise. I I know. Last week, last week, you shall I am asking, not about the son destroying the father. The son. That will be self-contradictory. I am asking because if you affirm the son is absolute, that means all powerful. So you cannot say is your own powerful enough to live and all powerful enough to die at the same time. Self-contradiction. I am not asking about self-contradiction about the son. I am asking you about someone else called Allah. Maybe I'm pregnant. These people have so much hatred. So now he's asking him about Jesus. You realize what I'm saying? But he forgot to know that in the Quran, Allah is the father of Jesus. Do you know why they're coming? Do you know why? They're coming to help you. Do you know why they're coming to help you? Do you know why they're coming to help you? Tell them I don't need you. Just tell them I don't need you. Tell them I don't need you. Allah made Mary pregnant. I'm not going to go away. So now tell me. Does the son have the power to destroy the other person, the father? See, that's what I'm saying. That's a logical contradiction within God. Tell me how. How is my question logically relational? So don't ask questions. You don't know what God's son is like. 
Sorry? The son loves the father. The father loves the son. That's what I'm saying. I didn't say only one, two, or... I am saying, does he even possess the power? If I say, Mansoor, you are a donkey. Excuse me. You're not. Does the son possess the power to destroy the father? If you will be quiet. Can you tell him to be quiet? Can you tell him to be quiet? Can you tell him to be quiet? They're trying to help you, but they can't. Rebecca, I'm almost three years old. Yeah. Show me Show me this is, is how the me Christians yeah. try to save yeah. their yeah. person yeah. who they know is failing. Show us your It's a silent admission. I'm not going to be afraid. Let me talk to him, Mr. Jones. Let me answer. Right. So, uh, so now, uh, did you hear my question? Mansoor, let me ask you. Show us the answer. Wait, now Rebecca was three years old. You are talking, when you talk about it, like the microphone, like will, like the microphone will filter this noise, so don't worry. Don't worry. Would you have a sex but now you're all child like your mom and mother? You must go online. You can't speak contrary to facts. You have to bring facts. You haven't brought any. You say, oh, he's a candy destroyer. He can destroy his son. But that's contrary to like facts. Did you not understand my question? See, you can make up any straw man and act by his contrary to Why is that a straw man? Because you're talking contrary to facts. Some buzzwords you're using from logic. Red herring, straw man. But perhaps you need to understand that you perhaps misunderstood from your logical teaching. I asked you, let me repeat my question again. Let me repeat it again. Let me repeat it again. Well, it will be self-contradictory if I ask you, can the absolutely all-powerful son destroy himself? That will be self-contradictory. I'm saying you're producing a straw man. The question is coming out of something which is contrary to facts. You have to show a uh, basis of that. What is the fact on which I can, I can reject or deny that the son can destroy? If you don't have any fact that tells me the sun can destroy, I am then you're talking contrary to facts. You're not, you're perhaps, talking, perhaps try to focus on what you want some music. Here you're talking imagination, listen, making your own facts. Okay, listen. That's not listen. how it works. That's the sun, if he's absolute, he has absolute power. Hey, Amir, 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 how are you? You're Amir. Okay. Amir. Um, hello? I'm here. <laughs> Brother, right. ask you. You gave me. Uh, okay. Right. Yeah, uh, brothers, brothers. Focus. Focus. Concentrate. Thank you. Thank you. Right. I am saying if a being is absolute, the attribute that we give, the attribute we affirm, an absolute being we affirm, the absolute and perfect in the attributes. So if I say God is absolute, I am saying God is absolutely all powerful, all knowledgeable. You can't listen, say anything about God. Listen, listen. If you're going to talk about God, excuse me, you cannot say anything. Without revelation. You have to have revelation. Can you finish? I contradict When I affirm an absolute God, what I'm affirming is absolute attributes of this God. Absolute attributes of perfection of this God. So, when I say in your belief you have a God the Son or Son of God, whichever phrase you want to use, if he is absolute, what you are affirming is he's absolutely all knowledgeable, not ignorant. He's absolutely all powerful and not weak. Because he is absolutely independent and not dependent. That's what absolute means. Absolute. So if you affirm, hear me out, if you affirm he has power and he's absolute, you don't say he's 90% powerful. And someone else is 100% powerful, more powerful than him. When we say God is absolutely powerful, we mean he is all powerful. There's no one power, more powerful than him. That means an all powerful being is able to do things, as you explained, that does not go against his own nature. If his nature is ever living, then he cannot die or destroy himself. Yeah. He cannot exercise his power. So now, now, having understood and explained this to you, Yako, 
we have another absolute person called the father. Here are the logical scenarios. The son being absolute has the power to destroy the father. No. Let me finish. Let me finish. Yeah, they say Let me finish. To, how do you know he has the Excuse power me. to destroy the Let father? Let me finish. Then you will understand. You, you can't. Relax. 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 So either, either. Are you no, focus here? Did you have a sex last night? You're not trying to have a sex. Either. Like the no, no, I want you to focus. So, but you're not listening to my response. Excuse me. I need you to, to, I need you to, to focus and listen and then respond. Six, seven, so, why, why are you... Thank you. Concentrate. Thank you. Either the son, being absolute, well, by definition, he has the power to destroy anything, including the father. No, that's what, himself, right? no, 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 not himself. No, that would be self contradictory. Well, you were, that's what I'm saying. Listen, uh, the, why are you not letting me finish? If the question was, can he self destroy himself while he's absolute, that is a contradictory statement. You know what? But I'm not you saying, me stop here. can I you make my US statement? You may have 15 minutes. Excuse me, you know what? Let's sing me finish. I am older than you, I'm getting tired. You make your okay. point, do okay. it fast. Thank you. If you allow me to, then don't interrupt. Thank you. 15 minutes, I'm standing Just listening to you. Interrupting. How, okay, I interrupt for Again a second. Again, interrupting. <laughs> for a second. Again, you're interrupting. And you will talk Again, for Again, you're interrupting. Minutes. So, the son, if he was absolute, he will. Don't interrupt, please. Otherwise, it will go on even longer. It's up to you if you want to make it longer or shorter. If you want to make it shorter, don't interrupt. The son being absolute. Is, has the power to destroy the father. If he's not able to destroy the father, then he's not absolute. Which one is it? You said son being he has the power to destroy the father. That's what you said. If he was absolute. How do you know that he is, has the power to destroy the father? By definition of absolute. That's your definition. So you don't agree with that? That's what I mean. You created a straw man. You don't understand what I'm saying. So absolute doesn't mean absolute to you. Yeah. Just like only doesn't mean you, only. You are, now absolute doesn't mean absolute. You, can't, you don't okay, explain, know what you're talking explain. about. Explain. What does absolute mean You don't mean know to? what you're talking about. Okay, explain what absolute means. You're talking, you don't know what you're talking about. I would like to know. Explain to us what absolutely you, whatever, perfect means. Whatever the word absolute, when it is applicable to God, you are talking contrary to facts. You don't know what absolute means of God. What absolutely perfect means? I don't have to. I'm saying there is one God, Father, Son, and the Holy no, Spirit. You have a problem but with my definition of absolute. Because Didn't you have a problem? No. You had a problem. So explain to us what absolute tell you, perfect means. You also have a problem. That Sorry? is your problem. And tell you what your problem. No, no. Explain to I'm me the what problem. does absolutely all powerful, no, no, all knowledgeable means. I am means. not going to explain that. I'm saying... Then how come you have a problem with this? No, because these, what you are making conclusion, you suddenly bring in a straw man that the son can destroy the father. People learn. Where learn, do learn. you That's get That's how that the Christians from? have been taught to do to No, debate. you are the one who created a straw man. What is the factual basis of making that statement? Did Allah say that? I can asked Allah you, destroy listen, Christ? Listen. If you yeah, are the, being well, a logical, I'm asking you, I, I'm answering. I want your factual I am answering. basis. I'm answering. You are a logical, log taught no, in logic. I'm not answering. Look, look. Man, I give you an answer with two sentences, and you keep on repeating 15 minutes, say the same thing. So what's the point of repeating? Every time I open my mouth, you want to interject and interrupt. <laughs> Is this how they taught you to debate? I am. You, you is this how they taught you to debate? You're talking too much time. Is this how they taught you to debate? You're not coming. You have said. Is this how they taught you to debate? Yes or no? Yes. That's the way you Thank debate you. the people. Thank oh, you. you want to go? You're yes. Yes. You, you're you. running away. Yes. Take care. May God guide you. Read the Quran. Learn about the Prophet Islam, and you'll have salvation.